going on guys? Welcome back to Watch With Us. My name is Anthony. I also go by Watch With Me. Uh, I can be found on Instagram at Watch With Me or even my own YouTube page, Watch With Me. Today I'm bringing you another top five. We're going to be talking about annual calendars. Um, and of course, in traditional fashion, we're going to go from the lowest price point up to the highest. And uh, just a little bit of a disclaimer, this is kind of my top five uh, in this given price point. I'm not saying they're the absolute best. It's open to uh, whatever you guys think as well. Leave a comment down below of what your top five are. Before we get into that, of course, a wristwatch check. Today I am wearing my Panerai 312 and I have it on this new cool kind of military green rubber strap that uh, I absolutely love. I think it fits the watch really well and I'm really digging it. So uh, enough of my watch, let's get into the top five. All right, so number one on the list, this is the only watch that isn't in production anymore. It is the Breitling Transocean 1461. 1461 standing for how many days are in four years, excluding the leap year. So this particular watch is a 43 millimeter. Uh, when it was brand new, it was around $12,000. It was a limited edition. The great part, before we even go into the specs of this watch, is you can find this watch on the secondary market for under $5,000, which I think is a tremendous value. Uh, it is an ETA movement with a module, so it is slightly thicker than what I would prefer, but for $5,000, you're getting a chronograph, an annual calendar with moon phase. I think it's a spectacular watch. It has the pump pushers, uh, the case design, with the lugs extending a little bit further out. The raised sapphire crystal is very reminiscent of the 1950s and 60s. Uh, I was always a fan of the Transocean line. I was sad to see it go. Now they introduced the Premier line, uh, but I hope they reintroduce this particular movement because I think it offers a tremendous value for what you're getting. I personally love the watch with the black dial and the Melanese bracelet but uh, most would probably prefer the leather strap. I understand the Melanie's bracelets are a bit out there. If you haven't had a chance to see this watch in person, it's gonna be difficult to find it in person, but at least go online and watch some videos on it or even see where they're being sold. Awesome watch, and that's why it's number one in terms of price point on my list. Like I said, it did retail for around $12,000, but now can be found for under five. Now, number two on the list, I'll be honest with you, up until a year ago, I didn't know much about this brand, but it's Carl F. Bucherer. Now, some of you might know that name vaguely. Bucherer, which is kind of, owns Carl F. Bucherer, but Carl F. Bucherer is the watch company, and Bucherer is the jeweler, the jeweler that just purchased Tourneau. But the watch company, Carl F. Bucherer, makes an amazing, very clean chronograph, watch with annual calendar. Now the watch is very clean and compared to the Breitling, it's an annual calendar, but it's telling you everything you need to know in a very clean way. And the one that I absolutely love is the kind of panda dial, two register chronograph with rectangle pushers, just an absolutely beautiful watch. Again, it's not an in-house movement, but it is a module chronograph. But despite being a module chronograph, it fits much better on the wrist. This watch is also a limited edition. It's around $7,200. It's an absolute bargain of a watch. It fits the wrist so well, it's so comfortable. You're getting an annual calendar and a chronograph for retail under $7,500. I really don't think anything else can compete with this watch on the market. If you put any other brand on that dial, this would be double the retail price. I love that it has syringe style hands. It is only giving you the date and the month, but it is an annual calendar. Like I said, it is telling you exactly what you need, but in a very clean way. I love that the push is a rectangle. It doesn't make the watch look too big uh, at 42 millimeters. It does have an exhibition case back. It is nicely decorated. Obviously not hand finished, but for the price point, you shouldn't be expecting it to be hand finished. Uh, so number two on my list is the Carl F. Bucherer Annual Calendar Chronograph. It is a limited edition. Uh, retail price is around $7,200. Uh, an absolutely amazing watch. Probably should be number one on the list based on the price point, but because the Transocean you could find at a lower price point, uh, we're gonna leave this at number two. So number three on the list, we are jumping up to a, uh, a much higher price point. This one is around $21,000. It is the IWC Portuguese annual calendar. My personal favorite is the blue dial that I'm showing you here. I love the fact that this is telling you in 
all the information that you want to know in a very, very clean way. Uh, the dial is laid out beautifully. Uh, I do have a bit of OCD, so I love how clean this watch is. It is slightly thicker, and it is absolutely the biggest watch on the list. It's over 44 millimeters, 44.2 to be exact. Uh, but I do love when you flip it over and you look at the in-house made movement, it fills up the whole case of the watch. Uh, it's that large because of the size of the mainspring being it's a seven day power reserve. I think the movement's finished beautifully as is the case and the beautiful blue dial. Let's face it, blue is one of the most popular dial colors nowadays. And like I said, an annual calendar plus a seven day power reserve, $21,000. It is a higher price point, but I think you're getting quite a bit that's a retail price. These can be found for a bit less, and that is why it is number three on my list. Number four, also under the Richemont family, how can we talk about complications and calendars without talking about Jaeger Le Coup or Jaeger Le Coutre, whatever you want to say is fine with me. We'll just call it JLC. Uh, the JLC, a perpetual calendar, stainless steel, it starts at $20,000, so it would be less than the IWC, but the one we're gonna be talking about today is the rose gold version, uh, still a steel at $30,000, super thin, 39 millimeters, 100% in-house made. Now, everyone knows in the watch community that when it comes to JLC, they're called the watchmaker's watch, uh, meaning watchmakers that are very technically savvy when it comes to movements. This is their watch of choice, meaning the brand. You're getting so much information. A perpetual calendar, for those of you that are not aware of exactly the difference between an annual calendar and a perpetual calendar, a perpetual calendar understands the leap year. So there's actual a gear inside the watch that's not gonna move completely for four years until February 29th comes, which is absolutely mind boggling that a technology that's hundreds of years old is still relevant today, and they were figuring this out all the way back then. Now. This watch, 39 millimeters, very thin, very elegant on the wrist. Obviously, $30,000 is a lot of money. But to get a rose gold in-house made perpetual calendar, you're really gonna have to spend maybe double this price once you go into the really, really high-end brands like Patek Philippe, Elan Zona, Vacheron Constantine, and other brands like that. So for what JLC offers, I don't think they can be rivaled to be honest with you i think they're they supplying movements to everyone they were a supplier for ap patek and vacheron for a number of years um you know and i think this is a very elegant watch and if you have this kind of money to spend it is an amazing watch to look at you're talking a grand complication uh real wrist presence and uh yeah that's why it's number four on the list and last but not least uh, is the Patek Philippe 5205. I've talked about this watch many times on my own channel. It is my favorite annual calendar there is. It is one of my favorite Patek Philippe's ever made. Uh, I love a very clean dial that's giving you information in a very clean and legible way. I like that this watch is a smaller case. It has beautiful skeletonized lugs. The finishing on the movement is second to none on, to anyone on this list. Uh, this is a $50,000 watch, so it is quite expensive. On the secondary market, if you're looking at the white gold version with the white dial, you can kind of find them in the low $30,000 range, which is absolutely a steal in my opinion because you're getting the Holy Trinity, the top of the top, Patek Philippe annual calendar, and you're getting it at that price point. This one does retail at $50,000. Uh, I think a rose gold with cream or white dial is the perfect combination. It wears extremely well on the wrist and that's why it's on my list. But uh, that's it guys, that's my top five. Do me a favor, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys are liking my uh, top five videos. And most importantly, leave a comment down below. What are your top five annual calendars or perpetual calendars or any calendars? I would love to go through the comments and read them all with the team and kind of start a dialogue down below. But like I said before, you can find me at Watch With Me on Instagram or on YouTube on my own channel where I talk about cars and watches and a little bit of fashion. But uh, that's really it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.